Hello, welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of 10 P's we're hunting through, looking for alphabet 10 P's. Ideally 2019 dated ones because we've never completed the 2019 book. We've got six to go, but we have got A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and M, N, O, P, R, T, U, V, and X. So, any of those last six would make for great finds, but the 2019 dated ones are so low minted, so hard to find, we started our third 2018 book, uh, which we have A, E, G, I, K, M, Q, P, T, V, X, and Y. So plenty still to get for this bag, uh, this book even. So let's get into the bags and see what we find. Okay then, whilst the hunt is ongoing, we're going to be going through some recent comments left on my videos. If you do get a random love and a like from me, but no responses because I've taken a screenshot of your comment and will be replying it to it replying to it on one of these 10p videos. We start with Danny Ram who says, I found a t the 2024 Red Squirrel 2p coin yesterday as I'm wondering if that's in circulation as I'm very happy. Well, a very big congratulations. It's one of the first uh, of the other definitives that I've heard being found in circulation. Now, you pose a very interesting question and I would be fascinated to know as well um, because there's always the chance that someone has just spent some of these new definitive coins, bought the um, uncirculated set, been given an uncirculated set, whatever, however it happens to have come about, and instead of realizing the um, collector's value has just broken the coins out and spent them. Um, I don't know, maybe it could be a case that uh, someone who's bought an annual set and wants to sell the coins and the 50p sells for much more than the rest of the set so it's more profitable to break it up sell the individual coins that have value and then just spend the rest of them potentially so your 2p could be an nifc uh well no, not an nifc your two pence could be an uncirculated version of the coin uh, but equally it could be the start of these two pences getting out into circulation it's really hard to tell this early on whether it's a, whether you'd have to we'd have to look at the coin and have a, and try and spot whether there are um, indications that it might be an, a brilliant uncirculated one rather than a circulated one uh, which can be a little bit hard to judge but um, I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure I, I would like to think that uh, uh, it could be a circulated one which would be very very exciting but I guess the, the main thing is if people all of a sudden start finding them that's an indication that they are out in circulation now um, be surprised if we thought it, well we, we assume that 2023 had uh, some minted I think they were displaying them at the Royal Mint experience whilst I was there to say we have minted them so it's weird that a 2024 uh, version would turn up before a 2023 one but uh, I guess it could be a circulated one Right, Ken Burt says, I have some new £1 coins dated 2016, which weren't released until 2017. Supposedly the first year circulation of the new style uh, stepped edge coins. Are they worth keeping? Um, so not with the uh, 2016 dated pound coins um, in terms of being valuable or rare. So yes, you're right. They were only introduced into circulation in 2017. But because so many pound coins would have been needed to start replacing all of the old round pound coins, they started striking them and uh, stocking them up in 2016 in preparation for that big changeover. A bit like we didn't decimalize until 1971, but there are 50 P's dated 1969, um, a whole two years before they became a circulating coin, purely because, again, to change over a whole system of currency, a whole denomination, um, you need a bit of time to be able to produce them all. Um, so yes, they're, they're not they're not rare. I mean, there, there are some things that. Um, people have found errors on them like the micro dates being wrong or um, th there's the ongoing battle over is a lefty or a righty uh, a va valuable but uh, it's not something I particularly look for but um, I think it's kind of interesting to have one in your collection because that is the first of the pound coin as we use today so I think it's kind of neat uh, to have that in sort of a date run or whatever but uh, unfortunately not hugely valuable. Lawn Bowler UK says what do you do about the wrong coins ending up in the bags? Uh, is that, uh, if that's able to happen, is it possible the wrong amount of coins could also end up in a bag, losing you potentially a lot of money over the course of a year? So um, yeah, every now and again something turns up in a, in, a, in a bag of coins, whether it's a foreign coin that is a similar dimension to the UK coin or a fake coin in the two pound coins mainly. Um, and I guess there must be the odd occasion where a bag is a coin short or whatever. Um, the way I look at it, it's if it was happening really, really regularly, if I was finding 
a quarter of the coins I came across were uh, foreign coins, not actually UK coins, were fake coins or whatever. Um, that would be uh, a bit of a hit financially, but but having one or two a week uh, is not a huge hit financially, enough to warrant uh, potentially causing an argument with my bank, who I've got a very good relationship with. So um, also things like fake coins, I think they're kind of cool. I think they're kind of neat and. I know there are plenty of people that would pay more than two pounds for a fake coin just to have a fake coin in their collection, bizarrely. Um, and the foreign coins, I mean, I collect foreign coins, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, but like I said, if it was a if it was a percentage of the coins where it was starting to be a bit of a, a um, uh, I, I can't think of a word to say, but it's not rude, there, there wasn't sort of um, too, too much of a frustration. Um, which I then again I can't see it ever becoming that bad uh, or at least it is not that bad right now so, so I, I, it doesn't phase me they're just interesting oddities and other coins to add to my collection right Jackie RX2WM says quick question a friend just found a 2019 Stephen Hawking's 50p in his change doesn't believe me that they weren't put into general circulation can you confirm showed him proof still won't believe me uh, the Stephen Hawking 50p was categorically not put into circulation it is not a design you will readily find in your change the only way that coin has ended up in your change is because somebody has taken um, a brilliant uncirculated one I would assume or a proof one or whatever uh, busted it out of its packaging and spent it which does happen from time to time so that is definitely a coin that didn't enter circulation if you want the proof go on the Raw Mint uh, website look at the 50p mintages and when you get to that year it will show no Stephen Hawking 50 piece going into circulation. Mr. J, oh, also congratulations to your friend for finding a very exciting coin. Mr. J4615 says, I have no idea why YouTube recommended me this video because I have no interest in collecting coins, but I just sat and watched you sort through an entire bag. Maybe YouTube knows me better than I know myself. It is weird, isn't it? These algorithms uh, on YouTube, on TikTok, on uh, social media, whatever it happens to be, um, they're very, very clever at funneling stuff to you that you like. Um, I think TikTok is the prime example. If I was to scroll through my For You page on TikTok compared to if you're on TikTok, your, your For You page TikTok, we are having very, very different experiences as to what is popping up uh, to interest us. And the amount of things that I have found or come across because of algorithms that uh, I had no idea that um, I, I would even be slightly interested and have been totally fascinated by it uh, is kind of interesting. So I'm very grateful to the algorithm for finding people who like watching me sort through coins. Uh, Tash J19 says, Hi Christopher, I recently found my first fake £2 coin. It's been in my change checker album for five plus years and I only discovered it when transferring the coins into flips. It's the, Royal Na it's the Royal Navy Centenary and the level of detail is very impressive. I spotted it this time as it was very shiny and had no edge inscription at all, just ridges. I've now started a fakes collection and hope to find more. Luck uh, like you, I think they're quite special, especially when they're well made. Uh, so there you go, an example of someone who likes having fake coins. I mean, again, I'm sure wouldn't enjoy having a 500 pound bag full of fake coins but uh, they are cool to see from time to time i think i know with the, the fake coin uh, that you're talking about i think i've had one not in my videos but uh, at my work at the britannia coin company have come across one of those um and yeah that, it was quite impressive but you can tell from the the look of the coin from the details and like you said no edge inscription on the uh, on the edge of the coin it was a giveaway that it was a fake um, I think sometimes I would also say that sometimes the really bad fakes are quite laughably bad so when all all the de de uh, the design details are missing it just totally looks the wrong color sounds wrong feels wrong um, it's impressive that that's made it into circulation and someone has actually spent the time to make that and has actually been able to spend it at some point so uh, I think fakes are all kind of kind of interesting um, Pax dot Alotin says Hello Christopher, regarding the fake £2 coin, for us viewers outside of the UK, can you tell us what to look for? Thanks. So, with fake £2 coins, the first the first thing I would that would grab my attention is the colour. Uh, some and now sometimes newer coins, older coins, they look a bit different. The outer ring and the inner and the inner part of the coin, they look different. Um, um, and it's just a case of sometimes the fakes just look so obviously 
the wrong color um, that's one thing I spot I spot the other thing is as I was saying the detail of the design maybe not so much on the technology side of the two pound coin but the portrait of the Queen I've seen that so many times on so many coins now if it's wrong or uh, slightly um, uh, off then it stands out a mile um, so it's just comparing it to a real one one you know is real um, there are other things you can do more technically you can measure them you can weigh them you can check the thickness the diameter check the edge inscription things like that they will all be good giveaways uh, of a coin whether it's fake or not because I guess you're not putting as much work into faking a circulated two pound coin as you would for say uh, a, a, a very a, a, I'm trying to think of a very rare coin a 1933 penny or a um, I don't know the an Edward VIII sovereign you're going to put lots more time and care into trying to fool someone because you know someone's coming to buy that and um, they're going to scrutinize it much more than they would a two pound coin handed by a cashier in their change but uh there we go see lots of people interested in fakes it's a fan it's a fascinating topic and i didn't realize it's george is it georgian copper coins um there are some fake georgian copper coins that are actually rather valuable my colleague found one at work recently um and again it, uh, it's fascinating that there is a whole niche within coin collecting that are interested in fake coins but uh, there we go so there we go finds for today unfortunately no alphabet 10 piece but we did get a croatian to kuno which obviously shouldn't be in 10 piece but you can see uh, how it has managed to make it into a bag uh isle of man uh the chicken rock lighthouse 2014 there and a guernsey tomato which again always cool for me though the star find these are some of my favorite areas. This sort of 10p with that cut area. You can see this little this big blob of metal that uh, should be part of the pattern and not this sort of blobby design. So it's damage to the dies which are used to strike the coin which has caused that. So I keep meaning to get them all to get all, all of my um, little cud rim area 10p's together in, a, in an album page and just have see them all together because I've got quite a few where it's a, a varying positions around the rim and severity of the... Uh, bits of cut as well but uh, one of my favorite areas that I do tend to come across from time to time so no alphabet 10 P's for Christopher you'll have to let me know in the comments did you find an alphabet 10 P this week what did you find and where did you find it we normally get three or four people that have so it reassures myself and everyone else that they are still out there to be found links as ever in the description of this video across to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come and join that there are also links to my other social media channels uh, the PO box address if you want to write in to me and of course the Britannia coin company the company i work for is my day job so please check them out too all it leaves me to do now though is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye